I've made like a few new species of marigolds. They grow up to like pretty decent, like topped off at seven foot. This is the parent plant. It's got like a single daisy look. And then there's like this one, which the bees really love it. They're all intoxicated and coated in pollen and sleep overnight. But um, it's like a mum crossed with a Fuji and a mumsy, a firecracker, a cracker jack, and um, the swamp marigold. There's different kinds of them, like there's the small type, the daisy type here that I crossed with the one that I showed you as the parent. And um, they come in different colors, like here's an orange one. There's a double orange one there. So you can see the double orange. And they come in like different colors. Um, there's a couple there, there's a single. If you're interested in some marigold seeds, I save the seeds constantly. Constantly have these bees on my flowers. Um, there is a morticia and it has no petals. I have one remaining of the seeds so that I so that species is still alive. It has no petals. So if you're interested in any of the marigolds, these are what the marigolds look like. So you can see like there's small ones and medium ones. Um, I have a a lot of different species of the media marigolds, which these are my media marigolds. Cosmos, too. There's um, even a double yellow. I don't know if you can see the color on it, but they're striped with two types of yellow. And then what is the others? Here's another of the species of the, the lighter yellow, the, as the, the cushion pump. This is another one of them. So you can see the different colors. This is the dark orange. This is the darkest orange one that I have. And that's the, like the hybrid of the yellow and the orange. And that's the mustard yellow look of the color. And there's the white. I have one white to show everybody what the white swamp marigold looks like. And it's the hybrid of the white and the yellow.